I'm Dana Williams, and if you've subscribed to my channel, it's probably to hear me sing. But since I have been at home all of this time in quarantine, I've been exploring and experimenting with my recipes. So today I am going to make a spinach basil pesto. And the ingredients I'm using are one lemon, one clove of garlic, salt, pepper, olive oil, pecorino or romano cheese, just as long as it's a hard cheese, and spinach, basil, and I'm putting it on brown rice pasta. You can put it on a sandwich, pizza, meat, but I'm, I'm choosing brown rice because I love brown rice pasta. I will start by putting about three cups of spinach in the blender. Uh, and just about a handful of basil. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of Romano cheese in the blender as well. And I'm going to grate it on a cheese grater. Now the water is boiling for the pasta, so I'm gonna put some pasta in. I'm gonna peel a clove of garlic and add that to the blender as well. Next I'm gonna put lemon juice in the blender. I'm gonna use a whole lemon. I really like tart, um, citrusy things, but if you don't, you don't have to use a whole lemon. You can use a half or a quarter. Next, I'm gonna put about a half a cup of olive oil. I choose organic extra virgin olive oil. The greener, the better. And finally, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I, I generally put a little bit of pepper and a lot of salt just because I like salty food. And now I'm going to blend it. Before serving, you want to make sure it's smooth, that everything is blended in, and it has a little bit of a creamy consistency. For those of you who don't eat dairy and are looking for a vegan alternative, you can add a little avocado to give it a creamier, thicker consistency. I like my pasta to be a little hard. I don't like mushy pasta. Oh, it's perfect. The pasta's ready, so I'm gonna... What do you call it? The pasta's ready, so I'm gonna strain it. I cooked a half a bag of pasta. That will feed about two people. And now it is ready to serve. Um, you can garnish it with a little lemon zest and some more cheese if you'd like. And now it's ready to eat. I guess I was hungry. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you liked the pesto and feel free to make recipe requests. <laughs>